going to meet me at the corner. I'm here in San Diego, California. Each year, hundreds and hundreds of books are published for kids like you and me. Writers can be found in most unlikely places, and sometimes their stories come about in most unlikely ways. Today we are meeting with Carolyn Marston, who is the author of Sawira, An African Friendship, published by Candlewick Press. This story came about through collaboration. Several of Carolyn's books have come from collaboration. For Carolyn, collaboration has meant working together in partnership with other people who have had interesting childhoods in other cultures. We're going to talk to her about her new book, Sawira, An African Friendship, and how she created this book with her first cousin, Philip. What brings you here? I don't know. I, oh, I was. Um, I wanted to tell you that your book, uh, Sawira, was really good. Oh, good. I'm glad you read it. Can you tell us about your cousin Philip, who inspired this book? Philip's parents lived in Rhodesia as missionaries, and Philip always talked a lot about his life on the mission in Rhodesia. And one day I said, Philip, we got to write that story. And then we worked together as collaborators. Why do you like collaboration so much? I like collaboration because I get to learn about other cultures, and I also like to work with a teammate so I'm not working alone so much. How did you get all that Rhodesian history and Shona vocabulary? The main source that I found was missionaries who lived there at that time on the mission. What are the problems of collaborating? The main problem I've had with collaborating is that sometimes the, my collaborator thinks I'm going to tell the story exactly the way it happened. Sometimes that's confusing to my collaborator. Your books are always set in other cultures. Why is that? I have contact with a lot of other cultures. I was born in Mexico and lived part of my young life there. I also have a Thai husband and together we have two half Thai daughters. Living here in California, I'm also exposed to so many people from other cultures that I find interesting. If kids want to collaborate, how would they do it? And sometimes you can find someone with a very interesting story, a classmate, and you go have a nice cup of hot chocolate and write down everything they tell you, and then together you can create the story. I bet there's an author in your town too. If so, we'd really like to meet them. Make a video and send it to us. The information's on our website. Well, that's it for my corner of the world. See you next time.